Hi everyone. One of the features we're very excited about this year is the HFSS microwave office integration. Now, many of you out there use HFSS, uh, the 3D simulator from ANSYS, and we want to help you do that. We also know you, of course, like to work in our environment. So what we're doing here is allowing you to export layout from microwave office into HFSS, have HFSS simulate, and the results seamlessly brought in and used. We started this last year. We've made a number of important improvements, and I'd like to show you some of those very quickly. What you see before you is Microwave Office, and uh, this is our analyst layout environment. And you see here we have a chip at the top uh, with the uh, pads on the periphery. We have bond wires. Let me go ahead and zoom in on that a little bit to show you better. These are 3D shapes, easy to draw. We come over uh, to a module, and then we go along the module where my cursor is, coming down the module through a BGA ball and out onto a board and this other port. We, of course, have two ports, one on the chip, one on the board, and we desire to get the S parameters in HFSS. Let me show you some of the improvements from last year. In a minute, you're going to see it's very easy to do. Uh, as a matter of fact, it's a little embarrassing. It's almost so easy, it's kind of a boring demo because there's not a lot to see. So I'm going to play around with it a little for you. Uh, but also, what we're supporting now are a number of these P-cells. That's your bond wires and your BGA balls. So we actually have those. Those will come over as you see. We're also supporting the concept of hierarchy. And if you look over here on the left where my cursor is, this project is called Bottom Board HFSS. And you see here Middle Board, if I double click on that, which is just the board and chip. And if we dig down further, chip. So what we're doing by using this is you actually can create smaller layouts and use them as subcells or subcircuits, if you will, making a fancier layout at the end. Very powerful in concept. Well, how do we get HFSS to simulate this? The way it's actually done now in the new version of the software is it's completely automatic. If you follow my cursor to the left, EM structures, new EM structure, and if you're used to running our EM simulators, what has been added here is HFSS simulator uh, 3D finite element method. Now, if you check that and you go ahead and draw, so imagine we had drawn this structure uh, in this layout, and the moment I hit simulate, HFSS will fire off on your computer, have to have a license, of course, and the uh, structure will come in, it will simulate, and then at the end, if you follow my cursor to the bottom here, what uh, a data set, this EMSIM DS8, will come back in. This has the S parameters and we're ready to graph them. Now that's not a very exciting demo. So what I'm going to do here for you very quickly is this is actually the HFS environment. And I want to show you behind the scenes what it's going to do so you believe me. So what it does is if you come over here to File, Import, Microwave Office, it actually brought in a file that has the layout. Now this includes the stack up, the ports, the bond wires, the BGA balls, materials of course, all the stuff you need to be able to run the HFSS. Just to spin this around a little bit, uh, you can see the bond wires, you can see the BGA balls. At this point, HFSS simulates. I won't bother to do that. You can imagine this is probably about a uh, several minutes. I'm thinking it's about 45 minutes to simulate this, so we won't bother. Well, at the end, we'll take a look at the log file to see how I did on that. And if we come back to Microwave Office, then when it's done, that was done automatically, again, we get the data set. Here at the bottom, EMSIM DS8. I promised you a log file, and I will give you one. Sim log. And this is HFSS. And as we scroll down here at the bottom, it took 50 minutes in HFSS. It's quite a complicated project, so no big surprise there. And I should show you at least one graph with the results. And here you go. Uh, this is your S21. 
and your S11 uh, for the board from 300 megahertz to 10 gigahertz, about what we would expect in this kind of structure. So to conclude, with the new feature that we've been improving, it should now be seamless to bring microwave office layouts, analyst layouts to HFSS, have it simulate, and get the data back. Thanks a lot, everyone. Have a great day.